Hi, I'm Bob McCoskery. Grab a coffee. Let's talk about broadcasting standards. Yeah, I know. You're probably saying, Bob, what, what broadcasting standards are there? And I'd probably agree with you, but I think it's been confirmed today because the BSA have put out this document called Complaints That Are Unlikely to Succeed. And basically they're saying that if you complain about these things, they're not even going to bother to consider them. It's, you know, don't even bother complaining. Now, the first one is entitled Low Level Language. Let me show you what it actually says. It says that words and phrases considered to be low level bad language include, and it's those words, which I won't say on, uh, on this show. While these words may not be everyone's language of choice, they have become commonly used. Now, the problem with that is they've become commonly used because groups like the BSA have allowed that kind of programming to infiltrate our houses, our living rooms, TV programs. They haven't bleeped out the offensive words anymore, and they've just allowed a free-for-all. And so that has become the norm. In fact, one of the other things they say when they talk about uh, content for children is that they say that R16s can occur from 8.30 and R18 programs can occur from 9.30. And they say that the reason is because this is outside of children's normal viewing times, even on weekends or during school holidays. Yep, apparently during the weekend and school holidays, kids are not watching after 8.30 and definitely not watching after 9.30. Meanwhile, back in the real world, we know that they are. But that's how out of touch the BSA is. And of course, they set these bad rulings. And then, of course, that becomes the norm and the broadcasters just continue to push the limit. There's one other interesting aspect to this uh, latest release, and it talks about blasphemy. And let me show you what it says in this area of blasphemy. It says the authority acknowledges that when broadcasts feature exclamations of words associated with God, Jesus, Christ, hell and the Christian faith, some people might find this offensive. However, these words are not considered to be coarse language and in our modern secular society have become widely used as part of everyday speech. Now that's interesting because it talks about blasphemy, but then it specifically says that it's a free for all, but just for one particular faith. Have a look at it again. It says the Christian faith, but apparently uh, a free-for-all against and, and blasphemy against the Christian faith is okay, but what about other faiths? Why aren't other faiths included in this uh, exemption? Why is it only the Christian faith that allows this free-for-all? I mean, one positive out of this is that apparently hell is okay now, so it's good news for Israel Falau. But it does show the double standards, and what the BSA are confirming here is that if they didn't have double standards, they'd have no standards at all. What, what this really shows, though, is that if you expect uh, broadcasters to make moral decisions to protect your kids, then you're dreaming. And you need to realize that when you turn on free-to-air television, uh, what you see is going to possibly be completely unacceptable. Either you pre-watch it and vet it, or you simply don't take the risk. But don't expect the Broadcasting Standards Authority to connect those two words, broadcasting and standards. Because what this documentation confirms is that not only do they want a free-for-all for blasphemy against the Christian faith, but also they're not going to even take complaints about it or about offensive words anymore. Certain offensive words that they deem are now acceptable. And that shows that they have lost their way and we need to use that remote control a bit more. Mm -hmm.